Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Easy Learn. As you know, we are discussing the introduction to electronics series, and this is the continued topic that is relevant always towards the previous. We need to consider whenever we are talking about the latest series, you must have to at least there is a relation. That is why I always discussed in this series pattern because I want from the basics, start from basics, and then I want to go further in details today's topic is induced potential difference as you can see our title here and we are going to discuss the brief introduction the episode 14 first of all here i want to tell you this is a long topic and i don't want to end in this single episode i divided this topic into two portions theoretical portion and a mathematical portion today we will discuss the theoretical portion so the theory will be understand the concepts that related to the previous ones and how they are executed the formulas and the mathematics terms will be discussed in the next episode in the 15th episode induced potential difference as the name indicates that the induced means generated something new produced that is not present we are going to produce potential difference means we already discussed in the previous episodes the definition of the potential difference that means that the generation of the voltage current in the previous episode we discussed how magnetic field was associated with an electric current in a conductor so there is a definitely a relation of the magnetic field and we in the whole discussion of the 10 episodes previously i was just trying to show how it is related magnetic field with the electric current that is basically the magnetic field lies when the mag current carrying conductors so on and all the things that we are just discussing from the starting of the time we are just trying to relate the magnetic field with the electric current so there is a relation between these two terms and this is how we are going to use it in our in a very useful way in the generators so we can use the potential difference we use it for our very achieving the specific goals when a current carrying conductor was placed in a magnetic field any current carrying conductor a force was exerted on a conductor okay that is what we already discussed that suppose it is a current carrying conductor and it is a positive and negative current is present in this conductor this is positive and negative and if in the, it is available in the presence of the magnetic field definitely it will experience a force either this force will be toward this side or this side definitely in either side it is it is must be at the angle of the 90 degree with the magnetic field lines so for the maximum achievement of the uh, force so current must be have have the angle of the 90 degree with the uh, magnetic field lines so for the maximum force uh, how we can find out this you know by right by using the right hand rule not discussing here we all also saw that a magnetic field exerted a force on individual moving charges also in the next episode of the where we discuss this i think seventh or eighth episode i don't remember right now uh, we also discussed in the next episode after discussing the current carrying conductor there are uh, some basically individual charges actually the force that are available in the conductor and when we are discussing the conductor it means that the force is exerted on a conductor and in other way uh, in other words it is actually acting on the individual moving charges so moving charges are also very important but in case of the moving charges they have no current direction we are using their velocity because the, they are moving inside the here and there here and there moving charges they are moving here and there they charge q and then there is a charge q means that this is a positive and negative there are further separation either this is a positive charge or negative charge the, this effect the effect we are going to produce by changing magnetic field is called there are two ways to produce a magnetic field first one is if there is a constant magnetic field applied and what we are going to do is just change so oh, oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry okay forget about all this just uh, focus this a current can be induced in two ways number one in a conductor either by motion of the conductor through the magnetic field we are going to uh, adopt them uh, we are going to move the part that is the movable part is conductor that carries the current like this one pose if it carries the current here positive negative and the second way is you uh, because by moving this 
current carrying conductor actually we are doing the same thing we are just trying to cut the mag magnetic field line by moving it in other words we can uh, achieve this by keeping it uh, magnetic uh, pa this part stationary and changing the magnetic field lines by, but the same the purpose is same so that it can pass through mag maximum magnetic field lines at a 90 degree angle so the current can be induced by doing this this process called like electromagnetic induction because electricity is produced how because there are the many there are number of uh, free charges available here and by when we do this this pattern actually they split up the positive charges tries to adopt something uh, on one side of the conductor for example this side is positive become positive positive tries to come here negative tries to come here the majority charges here is post negative then we will try to say this is a negative side and this positive side when a point charge q this is a point charge q moved at velocity v we discussed this in uh, already this formula moved with the velocity v through a magnetic field b this is the constant magnetic field provided by the external sources at right angle this is very important at right angle to the field so this is the velocity and velocity must be at right angle to the field it will experience a force given by the equation f is equals to qvb this is the force that is moving towards the upper side and that is to the downside because positive and negative tries to adopt in the opposite definitely settle in the opposite because they have opposite polarities they will try to come here in the majority here and so they will it will become the positive charge this will become negative charge if we are going to use this velocity def suppose that this um, by going through this side this will become positive charge upper side while the downside of this conductor will uh, have a negative charge in majority so this behaves like a battery source suppose if we just connect something here and provide a path the charges try to move and by doing this there is a issue because if we connect a source uh, and we apply we give it uh, a path to we give a path to flow the charges in this way inside the jurisdiction of the magnetic field just to the flow of the charges there is a reason that the, we have we are not utilizing this charge in a useful work for example for if this is a positive terminal if this is a negative terminal why not i connect a bulb my electric motor and our different loads here this is a more suppose a light so that i can utilize this in our useful works this is also however a force towards the bottom of the page on the negative charges and if they are free to move a momentum of the charge will result the electron move definitely if you try are trying to use the right hand rule formula it will always uh, valid for the conventional current the electron moving down indicate a conventional current up to the page if they are moving downward conventional current is always related to the positive charge so okay this is negative from positive towards the negative it flows like this while the charges that move the current that direction is from negative towards positive is called electronic current or real current this is conventional current we are focusing on conventional current and all the formulas and the right hand rules we discussed is based on this assumption that is current move from moving from positive to negative a potential difference is developed here in between when the conductor cuts these lines passing through at a 90 degree angle the flowing current then the force uh, definitely generated and the, the momentum and this is the momentum here and if we just try to connect the, it with the external source the sensitive galvanometer with the center zero then it will also indicate the direction if either it the polarity is this if it reverses the direction of the velocity uh, our in, uh, conductor then definitely polarities will be reversed then our galvanometer will indicate the opposite polarity opposite opposite deflection a potential difference is created across the ends of the conductor such as uh, such as charge definitely builds up at the end if the conductor is connected to the outside circuit a current will flow 
but what happens if we are not connecting and providing the outside source we are just trying a path uh, connecting this positive charge suppose that this is a p charge that carries a positive and here q is a negative and we are just providing a path to flow uh, just um, to just uh, providing a path to close for the closed loop then if i tries to connect a circuit here outside uh, for our so for example i want to turn this bulb on and even if i pro uh, i select the velocity constant maintain the, this constant velocity in a strong magnetic field but still i'm not uh, getting enough energy outside to turn on this magnetic uh, to turn on the bulb that i connected in the external source why because this is the shortest path current is almost wasting if it is generating to so it means that part of the circuit must be external this is part of the circuit so that it will follow the path like this when here it is a positive charge it will tries to move from this way and by passing through the our equipment in the useful way it will tries to complete this path and then entering into the negative terminal so this is the external side so it means that our some portion some part of the circuit must be externally external connections are very necessary if we tries to connect all the circuits inside then current will definitely adopt the shortest path why current will have to move to this difficult path and turn on the different in lights and different things motors definitely and our different appliances why so it means that there must be an, an, an external connection necessary if all the circuits is moved through the field the no net current is introduced uh, induced a potential may be developed between the p and bottom q but definitely overall net effect would be zero no use under the influence of the magnetic field negative charge moved downward but for a very short time no net current will be results in the potential difference definitely will be overall zero one method used to generate a continuous current is to have only part of the circuit moving through the uh, magnetic field means this is a rail type structure here that is moving on the sliding rails as contact sliding contacts and this is uh, having a sliding uh, rail having length l and it is moving and this is only portion and we uh, how we can achieve we just need to connect here our sources for example bulb again then this is external source no other path is available to complete this circuit you can use this way uh, in another uh, in another particular way like this one here these are made up of the metals these rails and if this is going to slide either in this side or this side if it is changing its direction then polarity will be reversed but the current will be generated in both direction no doubt the ammeter will show the indicating it is connected in series so like this way so this is another way this is the external and here it is not magnetic field magnetic field has a jurisdiction here so we can obtain and use this current for different purposes now for the some mathematics a force must be applied to the conductor to start moving a force is necessary because definitely force will be force is required how we can generate an electricity in the generators too the force is necessary that's why we have generators to turn on and start it and continuously force is required and if it tries to move it in this direction the with the force for example we applied this is the applied force and there is another force that is opposing this with this same but in the opposite direction that is introduced that is induced force due to the magnetic field that is uh, behaving as a opposite opposing our f force and opposing the flow of uh, this conductor in the magnetic field so that uh, definitely we are working against it we will discuss the mathematical models and details in the coming episode if the conductor is moving with a constant sp speed v the amount of the work done on the energy supplied is equals to fd this is the formula of the work done that is force what we applied the force whatever and multiplied by displacement how much the distance the displacement it covers for example it covers the displacement of this box from this point toward this then d again splitting this formula what is the formula of the displacement displacement means the 
velocity the speed which it is using we can calculate the distance by when we can uh, for example i want to say you uh, how much distance i can travel you just can imagine if i i told you about the speed and time for example i am traveling with 100 speed of the 100 miles per hour per hour and i will uh, i am also exp giving you the time i travel it for the 2 hours then definitely you can calculate my distance 100 uh, miles per hour uh, so it means that 200 miles in two hours so definitely we can calculate the distance so this is the formula of distance world velocity multiplied by time and because time is changing so we are going to delta t time taken by to move a distance d uh, this is when the current is generated a magnetic force opposing in the direction of the applied force will be generated this magnetic force is equals to ilb f is equal to ilb sin theta we already discussed and I already explained here in this slide. Discussion will be continued in the coming episode. Take care, Allah. Peace.